Today I want to briefly talk about Aeon and my strategy for actually one of my older but definitely uh, one of my favorite FPGAs that I have and that is the Black Miner F1 Mini and if you're not familiar the F1 Mini came out I believe it was around 2019 uh, it was released by Hash Altcoin and they were $179 new they were really easy to get at that time and I had uh, the F1 Mini I've also had a F1 Mini Plus uh, today we're going to be talking about the F1 Mini and one of the things I really like about this it's super low power pretty much all the Elgos either run at either 30 watts or 50 watts it's kind of set and forget let it hash away supports tons of algorithms uh, in fact if I hop on over to the FPGA uh, this is the dashboard for it. You can see these are all of the algorithms that it supports, uh, which is quite an extensive list. And that's because it's an older FPGA. And they were really good about pushing out algos. Um, some of the key things I have mined with this in the past have been CKB uh, before Goldshell made ASICs for it. Same thing with Handshake. Uh, we mine lots of Handshake with this, as well as Kadena. Uh, which is here the Kadena 2 algo and uh, and also 0x BTC this is going to be like your SHA-3 solidity contracts things like Etica, 0x BTC, 0x BNB those chains uh, and uh, one of the more revenue generating ones has been Teller which is TRB uh, that one skyrocketed in price since we mined it it's done really well but today, what we're going to be doing is we've been mining Kyla coin with this for, oh gosh, probably the past year and a half or so. Um, with the exception of, for a short period, we did mine Caspa with this. Uh, it's, they named the bitstream Casper, but we actually do have a K-heavy hash bitstream for this FPGA as well. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is preparing for the bull run. One of the things I was doing is I was looking... And seeing if we should stay on Kyla coin or should I move it to maybe something like Aeon or a different coin in general. And I sat down and I looked at some of the numbers. Uh, currently, Kyla coin is still the most profitable. If we hop on over to the What to Mine calculator and we plug in the figures, which we're getting about 750 mega hash, 30 watts, I have 5 cent kilowatt power. And we are looking at a profit of around 33 cents a day. It's about 0 0.003361 Kyla coin at the current difficulty, uh, which does rampantly change uh, because we constantly have modern FPGAs going on and off the network a lot, especially uh, now with Alethium public bit streams and with Ironfish getting ready to move. I'm really concerned that the Kyla coin hash rate is going to get flooded with a lot of FPGAs, at least in the interim, until there is a fish hash bitstream. So what I did is I looked at some of the algos that the older black miner support that aren't really around on the modern FPGAs, or they're still extremely private. And one of those is the K12, which is Kangaroo 12. If you're not familiar with the Kangaroo 12 algorithm, you can think of it as a version 2 for SHA-3, and that's basically what it is. It came out in like 2016, Aeon adopted it, and so we're, and really this is kind of the only FPGA that has that bitstream for it, uh, this whole line, the Black Miner line of FPGAs, and so I decided that we're going to go ahead and attempt to solo mine this. Uh, with just the single FPGA. Now we get about th just under 4 giga hash per second with my FPGA. And if we take a look at the hash rate chart, you can see actually right now there's only around uh, 720 giga hash. This was 850 a couple minutes ago. Let's give this a refresh. Um, yeah, it looks like a substantial amount uh, just dropped off of hash vault, which is interesting. Um, it was, you can see, um, 
literally a couple hours ago. It was at 750, and now they're all the way down to 650. Um, but let's go ahead and grab the network hash rate, which is 810 giga hash. And let's see kind of what we're looking at, because we only see 19 miners, um, at least on the reported pools. And so that should give us some pretty good odds at this, um, at finding blocks. If we head on over to Hash Altcoin's website, uh, now they don't make FPGAs anymore. However, they still are maintaining the website and all the bit streams uh, to be downloaded. And they maintain uh, basically this chart that has kind of the most popular algorithm per FPGA, uh, some of their different models here. We're going to go to the F2 and we're going to take a look at the K12 algo for Aeon. We can see it gets around 65 giga hash. So if we, oops, if we hop back on over here and let's say the 810, uh, if we do 810 divided by 65, we're looking at approximately 13 of those units on the blockchain. And that's it. That's all that's really hashing. Uh, obviously, some of minis are mixed in there. Uh, there's a couple different units, but there's no ASICs on the network. Uh, there's really no GPUs or CPUs on the network. It's all FPGAs. And it's not that many FPGAs. Uh, even if we took, at that hash rate, if we took 810 divided by 4, uh, just to figure out what the... Uh, if everybody had the same device I had, which is actually probably the least performing device for this specific algo, just because it's only one FPGA chip then you're only looking at 200 FPGAs on this network. So anywhere between 13 and 200, it's a very small number. And we don't really have concerns about other modern FPGAs like the Osprey E300s or the C1100s, uh, really any uh, BCUs flooding this network. So what we're going to do is we're going to leverage Hash Vault. I thought about spinning up my own pool because there's only three pools available right now. Uh, but uh, decided, let's just go ahead and use Hash Vault. We actually get a pretty good ping there, um, given the work that it would take to spin up a pool. Uh, the K12 algorithm is a little bit different. You gotta run a crypto note pool. So uh, just for the purposes, at least short-term purposes, we're gonna go ahead and attempt to solo mine to Hash Vault. So we're gonna hop on over to the aon.hashvault.pro and we're going to jump on down to ports. Uh, and Hashvault does things a little bit different. If you use their DNS, you can actually just mine to port 80. And it will determine the algorithm you're mining and direct you to the appropriate stratum. If you want to identify a specific stratum to hit, you can certainly do that. Uh, they have tons. Uh, so I typically try to use the DNS worldwide. I let it auto detect. And it's usually pretty good with that. So we're going to go ahead and just use port 80. And this is relatively simple to do on the uh, F1s. So on the Blackmire dashboard, we're going to hop on over here. And we're going to do stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. And then we're going to pool.hashfault.pro colon 8080. And in our worker name, we need to grab our... Aon wallet address. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. All right, so we've got our wallet address. We're kind of ready to go here. Um, the only other thing we want to check is on how to activate solo. So on Hashfault, what you do to do solo is you do solo colon and then your wallet address dot worker name. Uh, this is typical crypto note. So we're going to go ahead and do that, hit save. We're going to let it um, start up, let it save the settings and start up the bitstream. And verify that it is hashing to that pool. Okay, we can see we already have an accepted share. Uh, the hash rate is still kind of ramping up here. Uh, this should settle in around 3.75 giga hash uh, after several minutes. If we hop back on over to the pool and plug our wallet address in here, 
uh, we should see this hash rate. And if you notice, we've got so low hash rate. It's still going to ramp up here. It's going to take a while. Uh, it does show all four shares. And then our pool hash rate is zero. So at this point, we are solo mining. And uh, we're going to let that ramp up. While that's ramping up, do you want to hop on over to the calculator for Aeon and see what our projected earnings are? Uh, so if we were going to pull mine, we've got 3.75 giga hash at approximately 50 watts. Again, I have 5 cent kilowatt hour. And we're looking at a profit of 20 cents a day. Uh, but if you notice, our SMA rewards around two coins. Each block is 1.2. So what we should be looking at is almost two blocks a day. So we're probably going to get like two blocks every 26 hours or so, uh, give or take. That is kind of what we're targeting. So we're going to let the solo mine for a few days and kind of see what our luck has been at. The whole time that I've owned this FPGA, I've never solo mined Aeon. I have pull mined it quite a bit. In fact, 2019, uh, before CKB and Kadena, I did um, I did this one a lot. And even after those went to Gold Shell and before Kyla Coin came out, I mined this one a lot. Uh, one of the things I do like about this algo is it's on mining Dutch. And so it allows you to mine it and auto swap to pretty much any coin you want uh, that they support over there. So you can swap it to Litecoin, uh, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Digibyte, any of the coins that they support, uh, which they do have a lot of really good coins uh, on their supported list for auto exchanging. Let's hop back on over. We can see it is still ramping up. Our current effort is 0.25%. And what we're expecting here is probably a block every 14 hours or so. So hopefully then the next day or two, we do hit a block. I have had this mining K12 on mining Dutch uh, for the past few days. And I have hit a few blocks. And our ping to mining Dutch is actually quite lower compared to... Or quite higher, it's a longer ping time, compared to Hashvault. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to hit some more blocks more frequently on Hashvault. But the key thing we're going to be looking for here is the average effort that it takes us. If we hop on over to blocks, and we can take a look at the average, or all the found blocks, and you can see the luck has been pretty good on these. So these are not my personally found blocks, these are uh, for the Aeon pool on Hashvault. But so I'm hoping if we can get uh, around these averages, that will be amazing. And we'll probably be outperforming Kyla Coin today um, in profits. Uh, it's close enough that I'm willing to take that chance. And if we hop on over to CoinGecko uh, for Aeon and we take a look at, let's just take a look at the max chart so that we can kind of see how it's done um, in the last cycle. We can see that it got up to over $3 a day. Um, if we take this average over the you know these few days, it was averaging $250. Uh, you can see it got to $280 there. Um, but if we take that average of $2.50 you know, $2 and 1.2 coins every 14 hours, uh, we could really profit quite a bit off of this FPGA. Uh, this is a big spec play. Um, it may only get to $1.50, uh, $2 potentially in this bull run, uh, but we will see. I'm going to work on stacking these coins, holding them uh, with the plan to potentially sell them in the bull run, and if it does well enough, potentially sell them for uh, hardware. Uh, going into the next bear market. So that's kind of the plan with the FPJ. Here you can see in 2017, um, it hit, hit $9. Uh, obviously, we didn't have that many coins around back then compared to what we did the last bull run. And so you've got a lot of diluted market cap. And so it only reached uh, 250 or three, around $3. Um, so if we get to you know that $1.50, $2 range, 
and we're earning, you know, a couple dollars potentially a day off of uh, really a 30 to 50 watt device that we only paid $180 for back in 2019. And we've been mining nonstop with since then. It's a superb deal. So that's it for this video. I uh, just kind of wanted to talk through what my strategy is for the F1 Mini and kind of trying to keep it away from other coins that are mineable with the modern FPGAs. Uh, one of the nice things with that older FPGA is we do have the ability to leverage all of the various bit streams that were available back then that maybe they're not as popular anymore, uh, but... Uh, we do have those algorithms, and those coin, some of those coins are still around. We're still seeing coins come up, uh, pop up on the market with these specific algos. And so um, we've been able to leverage those, and it actually has worked out really well. And we'll see if this play on Aeon works out as well.